Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and futurist best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current electricity supply system. Modern science says, the sun is the past, the earth is the present, the moon is the future. From an incandescent mass we have originated, and into a frozen mass we shall turn. Merciless is the law of nature, and rapidly and irresistibly we are drawn to our doom. Nikola Tesla. It is paradoxical, yet true, to say, that the more we know, the more ignorant we become in the absolute sense, for it is only through enlightenment that we become conscious of our limitations. Precisely one of the most gratifying results of intellectual evolution is the continuous opening up of new and greater prospects. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. Nikola Tesla. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. In the 21st century, the robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. The spread of civilization may be likened to a fire, first, a feeble spark, next a flickering flame, then a mighty blaze, ever increasing in speed and power. There is no doubt that some plant food, such as oatmeal, is more economical than meat, and superior to it in regard to both mechanical and metal performance. Such food, moreover, taxes our digestive organs decidedly less, and, in making us more contented and sociable, produces an amount of good difficult to estimate. Nikola Tesla. The harness of waterfalls is the most economical method known for drawing energy from the sun. The feeling is constantly growing on me that I had been the first to hear the greeting of one planet to another. The year 2100 will see eugenics universally established. In past ages, the law governing the survival of the fittest roughly weeded out the less desirable strains. Then man's new sense of pity began to interfere with the ruthless workings of nature. As a result, we continue to keep alive and to breed the unfit. Nikola Tesla from my childhood I had been intended for the clergy. This prospect hung like a dark cloud on my mind. Of the various branches of electrical investigation, perhaps the most interesting and immediately the most promising is that dealing with alternating currents. Nikola Tesla. The earth is bountiful, and where her bounty fails, nitrogen drawn from the air will refertilize her womb. I developed a process for this purpose in 1900. It was perfected 14 years later under the stress of war by German chemists. Nikola Tesla. The universal utilization of water power and its long-distance transmission will supply every household with cheap power and will dispense with the necessity of burning fuel. The struggle for existence being lessened, there should be development along ideal rather than material lines. We wind a simple ring of iron with coils, we establish the connections to the generator, and with wonder and delight we note the effects of strange forces which we bring into play, which allow us to transform, to transmit and direct energy at will. The trend of opinion among eugenists is that we must make marriage more difficult. Certainly no one who is not a desirable parent should be permitted to produce progeny. All knowledge or form conception is evoked through the medium of the eye, either in response to disturbances directly received on the retina or to their fainter secondary effects and reverberations. Other sense organs can only call forth feelings which have no reality of existence and of which no conception can be formed. Electrical science has disclosed to us the more intimate relation existing between widely different forces and phenomena and has thus led us to a more complete comprehension of nature and its many manifestations to our senses. Electrical science has revealed to us the true nature of light, has provided us with innumerable appliances and instruments of precision, and has thereby vastly added to the exactness of our knowledge. When a coil is operated with currents of very high frequency, beautiful brush effects may be produced, even if the coil be of comparatively small dimensions. The experimenter may vary them in many ways, and, if it were nothing else, they afford a pleasing sight. Archimedes was my ideal. I admired the works of artists, but to my mind, they were only shadows and semblances. The inventor, I thought, 
gives to the world creations which are palpable, which live and work. I have already demonstrated, by crucial tests, the practicability of signaling by my system from one to any other point of the globe, no matter how remote, and I shall soon convert the disbelievers. We have soon to have everywhere smoke annihilators, dust absorbers, ozonizers, sterilizers of water, air, food and clothing, and accident preventers on streets, elevated roads and in subways. It will become next to impossible to contract disease germs or get hurt in the city, and country folk will got to town to rest and get well. Nikola Tesla By an irony of fate, my first employment was as a draftsman. I hated drawing, it was for me the very worst of annoyances. Fortunately, it was not long before I secured the position I sought, that of chief electrician to the telephone company. Tesla was born in Smilion, Croatia, on July 10, 1856. Tesla was one of five children, including siblings Dane, Angelina, Milka, and Marika. Tesla's interest in electrical invention was spurred by his mother, Ju Komandik, who invented small household appliances in her spare time while her son was growing up. Tesla's father, Malutin Tesla, was a Serbian Orthodox priest and a writer, and he pushed for his son to join the priesthood. But Nikola's interests lay squarely in the sciences. After studying at the Real Schul, Karlstadt, later renamed the Johann Rudolf Glauber Real Schule Karlstadt, in Germany, the Polytechnic Institute in Graz, Austria, and the University of Prague during the 1870s, Tesla moved to Budapest, where for a time he worked at the Central Telephone Exchange. It was while in Budapest that the idea for the induction motor first came to Tesla, but after several years of trying to gain interest in his invention, at age 28 Tesla decided to leave Europe for America. In 1884 Tesla arrived in the United States with little more than the clothes on his back and a letter of introduction to famed inventor and business mogul Thomas Edison, whose DC-based electrical works were fast becoming the standard in the country. Edison hired Tesla, and the two men were soon working tirelessly alongside each other, making improvements to Edison's inventions. Several months later, the two parted ways due to a conflicting business-scientific relationship attributed by historians to their incredibly different personalities, while Edison was a power figure who focused on marketing and financial success, Tesla was commercially out of touch and somewhat vulnerable. In 1885, Tesla received funding for the Tesla Electric Light Company and was tasked by his investors to develop improved arc lighting. After successfully doing so, however, Tesla was forced out of the venture and for a time had to work as a manual laborer in order to survive. His luck would change two years later when he received funding for his new Tesla electric company. Throughout his career, Tesla discovered, designed and developed ideas for a number of important inventions, most of which were officially patented by other inventors, including dynamos, electrical generators similar to batteries, and the induction motor. He was also a pioneer in the discovery of radar technology, X-ray technology, remote control and the rotating magnetic field, the basis of most AC machinery. Tesla is most well known for his contributions in AC electricity and for the Tesla coil. The human being is a self-propelled automaton entirely under the control of external influences. Willful and predetermined though they appear, his actions are governed not from within, but from without. He is like a float tossed about by the waves of a turbulent sea. Nikola Tesla. It seems that I have always been ahead of my time. I had to wait 19 years before Niagara was harnessed by my system. 15 years before the basic inventions for wireless which I gave to the world in 1893 were applied universally. Nikola Tesla. In a time not distant, it will be possible to flash any image formed in thought on a screen and render it visible at any place desired. The perfection of this means of reading thought will create a revolution for the better in all our social relations. Nikola Tesla. The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His work is like that of the planter, for the future. His duty is to lay the foundation for those who are to come, and point the way. The Secretary of Hygiene or Physical Culture will be far more important in the cabinet of the President of the United States who holds office in the year 2035 than the Secretary of War. With ideas it is like with dizzy heights you climb, at first they cause you discomfort and you are anxious to get down, distrustful of your own powers, but soon the remoteness of the turmoil of life and the inspiring influence of the altitude calm your blood, your step gets firm and sure and you begin to look, for dizzier heights. There is no memory or retentive faculty based on lasting impression. What we designate as memory is but increased responsiveness to repeated stimuli. I myself as chew all stimulants. I also practically abstain from meat. The history of science shows that theories are perishable. With every new truth that is revealed we get a better understanding of nature and our conceptions and views are modified. 
There is no conflict between the ideal of religion and the ideal of science, but science is opposed to theological dogmas because science is founded on fact. To me, the universe is simply a great machine which never came into being and never will end. The human being is no exception to the natural order. Man, like the universe, is a machine. Nikola Tesla. I constructed a laboratory in the neighborhood of Pikes Peak. The conditions in the pure air of the Colorado mountains proved extremely favorable for my experiments, and the results were most gratifying to me. If we want to reduce poverty and misery, if we want to give to every deserving individual what is needed for a safe existence of an intelligent being, we want to provide more machinery, more power. Power is our mainstay, the primary source of our many-sided energies. As in nature, all is ebb and tide, all is wave motion, so it seems that in all branches of industry, alternating currents, electric wave motion, will have this way. AC electrical system Tesla designed the alternating current, AC, electrical system, which would quickly become the preeminent power system of the 20th century and has remained the worldwide standard ever since. In 1887, Tesla found funding for his new Tesla electric company, and by the end of the year, he had successfully filed several patents for AC-based inventions. Tesla's AC system soon caught the attention of American engineer and businessman George Westinghouse, who was seeking a solution to supplying the nation with long-distance power. Convinced that Tesla's inventions would help him achieve this, in 1888 he purchased his patents for $60,000 in cash and stock in the Westinghouse Corporation. As interest in an AC system grew, Tesla and Westinghouse were put in direct competition with Thomas Edison, who was intent on selling his direct current DC, system to the nation. A negative press campaign was soon waged by Edison, in an attempt to undermine interest in AC power. Unfortunately for Edison, the Westinghouse Corporation was chosen to supply the lighting at the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, and Tesla conducted demonstrations of his AC system there. Hydroelectric power plant In 1895, Tesla designed what was among the first AC hydroelectric power plants in the United States, at Niagara Falls. The following year, it was used to power the city of Buffalo, New York, a feat that was highly publicized throughout the world and helped further AC electricity's path to becoming the world's power system. Tesla coil In the late 19th century, Tesla patented the Tesla coil, which laid the foundation for wireless technologies and is still used in radio technology today. The heart of an electrical circuit, the Tesla coil is an inductor used in many early radio transmission antennas. The coil works with a capacitor to resonate current and voltage from a power source across the circuit. Tesla himself used his coil to study fluorescence, X-rays, radio, wireless power and electromagnetism in the Earth and its atmosphere, 